Hello everyone and welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan and today we're going to be testing whether or not you can fix a blown head gasket using a chemical. This stuff is called Blue Devil. It's available on Amazon. Link down below in the description. Now, before we go any further, I want to say this is not a paid video. Blue Devil does not sponsor me. I am receiving no money in any way, shape, or form. I just had an S10 that had a blown head gasket. I really didn't want to do uh, the hard way of actually taking the heads off of it because that's V6, got two head gaskets, and actually my great uncle recommended this to me, and I thought, hey, it'd make a decent video, and if it works, uh, then I don't have to do head gaskets, which is exciting. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to do them anyway. So either way, I get some great content out of it. You guys get a great video, so I figured what the heck, and I decided to give it a try. Now, before we get started, I also wanted to mention that I did do the step with uh, using the Blue Devil Radiator Flush, that's step two on the bottle here, and you can find a link to that down below in the description and up here in the card. Uh, that is an essential step that you're going to need to do. You're also going to need to remove the thermostat, which I did in a separate video, because this video is really just how to use the Blue Devil and whether or not it works. I didn't want to gum it up with a bunch of other uh, huge steps. We've basically already done step one and two on this bottle in separate videos, so check the link in the description and the cards up top. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with those details. Now, uh, I wanted to mention that I have talked to a few people at this product worked for and they didn't remove the thermostat. I'm doing it to the book. I'm doing it exactly the way it says on the instructions. However, I did want to mention that a few people I know have done it without removing the thermostat. I don't recommend it, but you could do it. Uh, I just wouldn't mess around when it comes to uh, head gasket repairs with a chemical. I would just do exactly what it says on the bottle like I have done in this video. And I also wanted to mention that I did change the oil in this video uh, before I ran it for 50 minutes so you don't have a bunch of uh, water laden oil circulating through your engine. So I do mention in the video that I changed the oil. I did change that right before I ran it for 50 minutes, 5-0 and uh, that's the only oil change I really needed to do. So I do recommend uh, changing your oil before you do the big 50 minute run. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, an easy way to see if you have a blown head gasket is to just check the oil. Now if you grab the oil dipstick and it looks like that, all nice and uh, kind of looks like a ch melted chocolate milkshake. Uh, you have a leak somewhere most likely in your head gaskets and there's two ways to fix that. You either put on uh, both head gaskets because this is a V6. If you had an inline four, it'd obviously just be the one. Um, but this is a V6, so you'd have to do both of them because you can't really tell which bank it's coming from. So you would just do both. Or you can do what I'm going to do and try out this Blue Devil chemical. So let's get started. All right, there's a the thermostat housing and we can go ahead and remove this uh, heater line out of the way. And since it's made of rubber, it kind of just will hold itself. We can pull that mount straight up and off. And then we need to remove these bolts. This next part's pretty easy. Now, when I first started this job, I thought we'd have to remove this hose clamp and slide that off there to get the top of the thermostat housing off. But since it's attached to a rubber line, we can actually just bend it up and out of the way. And it won't do any damage to that line if you don't do you know, a terribly huge bend. And then we can reach in and remove our thermostat. It comes out fairly easily. Okie doke. We took our thermostat out and removed the O-ring off of the thermostat. And we're just gonna put it in that recess right there. Nice. Because if you put metal on metal, it will never, ever, ever seal unless you use like silicone rubber. So if you're in a situation where you can't just put uh, the thermostat gasket back on or seal back on there, or maybe your seal's junk and you don't really want to go to the, heart, the parts store to get another one, uh, and you don't mind cleaning off silicone rubber, you could probably just silicone rubber this uh, area as well, wait for that to dry, and then continue. But since we have the seal, we're going to go ahead and put that back on. We can go ahead and replace those thermostat housing bolts. <clears throat> I'm just going to snug those up. doesn't have to be Hulk tight. There we go. Okay, now we're on step three. Fill the coolant system with water, but leaving enough room for the recommended amount of Blue Devil. Uh, that's something you're just going to have to eyeball. You know, fill it up like, so you can start seeing it a little bit in the top of the radiator, but you know, far down enough that it'll accept the Blue Devil, because you don't want to fill it all the way up and then you have to remove some. So the radiator is about up to here, so there's about that much room in it. You can actually look down in there and see 
that amount. Now what we can do is add the recommended amount of Blue Devil, but before we do that, we need to make sure that the engine is cold, remove our radiator cap, which we've already done, start the engine, and turn the heater to maximum while we slowly add a recommended amount of Blue Devil. And there's a chart on the back that tells you how much. And I think that's more of a make sure you have enough rather than don't use too much sort of thing. So I'm gonna put the whole bottle in. All right, what we're gonna do next is change the oil real fast. Uh, there's the card up here in the video if you need to know how to do that on this particular S10, but I would definitely change the oil at this point. And then we're gonna do it again later on in this video as well. All right, so we've filled up our radiator, got our battery reinstalled here, and uh, we'll filled it up with enough room for about a quart of Blue Devil. And the engine has to be cold before we start. Our radiator cap's off. We're gonna start the engine turn the heater to maximum, and then pour in the chemical slowly. So now we're gonna slowly add our Blue Devil into the system, and pour as slow as you can. So this takes a minute for the pour time of the entire bottle, so that gives you an idea of what your flow rate should be. Place our thermostat and we don't want to do that until the truck is completely cooled off we can feel that it is under a little bit of pressure um, and the coolant or the water is going to be hot in here now if you live somewhere very very cold you're going to want to change drop the water and then fill it with half antifreeze and half water but I live in the desert it doesn't get super cold not really really cold anyway so what we're going to do is uh, replace our thermostat it'll blurp out a bunch of water and once we've done that, we can put in some concentrate and that'll be right around 60-40 mix, which is fine by me, especially because I do live in a desert. But again, if you live somewhere cold, you're gonna want that 50-50 split to make sure uh, it doesn't freeze when it gets too cold at night. Don't do anything until the engine is cooled. The coolant system is under pressure, so don't remove the radiator cap, for instance. So we're just gonna kind of hang out and let this thing get back to room temperature. So we're gonna clean that mating surface with some carburetor spray. Have a nice seal. We're also going to clean the hose side of it as well. Make sure that sits in its home nice and flat like this one does. And we can go ahead and put our upper thermostat housing back on. When you're getting these bolts in, make sure you're not disturbing how the uh, thermostat sits in there because if you put this on and the thermostat is slightly off or not on exactly the way it needs to be, um, you'll absolutely have leaks and you'll end up doing the job again. So, you don't want to do that. Here we go. All right, so the moment of truth. We're here, we finally get to see if our head gasket chemical actually worked as intended. I'll go ahead and wipe that off. So we can see when we pull the dipstick tube. Oh yeah. Wow. Quite the difference. It actually looks like oil and not milkshake. Check that out. Oh, that's cool. I, I gotta be honest with you guys. I really didn't think that was gonna work that well, but there's not an ounce of milkshake in this after I've changed the oil. Now, if you get to this step, and your oil still looks like milkshake, that can just be leftover residual stuff. Go ahead and change the oil again and see if it still does it. And if it still does it after that, then change a head gasket. But it looks like this truck's good to go. Check that out. That is amazing. Head gasket sealer works. So with the rest of the room left in the radiator, there's about a third of the radiator left in there after I put the thermostat back in. 
Uh, I'm just going to put some co uh, coolant concentrate in there and again if you live somewhere very very cold you might want to drain the entire thing and do your normal thing with 50-50 um, or however you like it. Um, here in California you can basically run water all the time unless you're going up to the mountains or something which this truck will do so we're going to go ahead and um, put some coolant concentrate in there just so it doesn't freeze over. So let's go ahead and fill it the rest of the way with coolant concentrate. I have some just generic coolant concentrate I have laying around and we're going to go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way because it's basically just water right now in that chemical. And I'm not sure if that chemical is resistant to freezing or not. It probably is, but uh, I'd rather be on the safe side. And there we go. Nice and full. This thing is ready to go. Replace our radiator cap. Just like that. And we're all done. So yes, it is actually possible to fix a head gasket using chemical, if you can believe it. I really went into this video super skeptical. Again, I'm not being paid by Blue Devil to say this. This is my legitimate thoughts and opinions. And my opinion is, this is a great way to go for a small head gasket leak. Obviously, if you have something much, much larger, or if you have like a pinhole leak in a cylinder, that's really, this isn't really gonna do anything for you. But why not try it? If you have a small leak in a head gasket, this is a great alternative to paying someone a fortune to do a head gasket job on your car, especially if you have two banks like in a V configured engine. I am absolutely blown away by this product. I'm kind of shocked it worked, but I'm really glad that it did. So this is something you could definitely try at home and it's really simple and straightforward and it's a whole heck of a lot cheaper than paying for some head gaskets. And it says it's a permanent fix and I happen to know that our head gasket S10 has been running uh, fantastically for a few months now. This video has been uh, taking me a little longer than I'd like to get done, but that's okay. Uh, the S10 has been running for quite some time now, so it's not like this is, you know, worked for 20 minutes and then stopped. So far, it's been permanent, which is really, really exciting. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time.